Good evening, friends and my dear students. Uh, I am going to discuss if else if ladder in Java. We have already discussed how to apply a condition in a Java program, and this time I am going to discuss if else if ladder in Java. So, without wasting time and discussion, we rightly move to our presentation so over here i'm going to discuss a program uh, which says just writing this program program is this write a java code to accept name of the month and display number of days in that month as follows in case of fab take input year so this is the program uh, in this program you'll have to uh, just have a look on this clearly this is written that write a java code to accept name of the month and display number of days of that month as follows so if you enter gen then it should display 31. If you enter fab, it should display either 28 or 29. So corresponding days of the month should be displayed. So uh, to do this program, I'm going to use because uh, I think uh, there is a ladder of ifs. And that is why I am taking this program to demonstrate how to apply if else if. Okay. So we are moving to code and over here as I have to input the data so I'm taking import java dot util dot scanner just to get the input and uh, system dot out dot print and then enter month name in caps and month name should have maximum initial three letters And for that, I'm going to create the object of a scanner class. So scanner, then object name, C is equal to new scanner system dot n semicolon system dot out dot println. enter month name so how to enter that is why i have to declare a variable of a string type a string say month name and number of days i'm going to decide dd and uh, in in the case of fab, I have to enter the year also, and that is why I am taking the variable year. And one flag is also required that is Boolean invalid is equal to. why because if you do not uh, give the proper name of the month then the month name will be invalid and that is why i have taken one flag whose initial value is false and this time 
after this i am going to take the month name so how to take month name so mn is equal to sc dot next so this will take a string and after taking this string i am going to check if mn dot equals say gen and the condition should be in quotes so this is here and uh, if gen then it should be true and if this is then I'll say dd is equal to 31. Hope this is clear. If this condition becomes false, I'll take else if and in if I'm going to check mn dot equals fab. If jan is not there, then it could be pev also. If it is true, and in this case, we have to enter the age. So to take the age, or oh sorry, year, take year, I write system dot out dot println. Year. So in this case, we'll have to take year. So year is equal to sc dot next int. So this will take year, and in the year case, you'll have to check whether this is a leap year or not. So to check leap year, I'm going to check. This way, if year modulo 4 is equal to 0 and year modulo 100 is not equals to 0 or Year modulo 400 is equal to 0. So, this way I have taken the condition to check whether the entered year is a leap year. So, if this is the leap year, then I have to say dd is equal to 29 else dd is equal to 28 i have committed a mistake here i don't have to write or and this is or okay so if month name is fab then i have to do this and after that if suppose if month name is not fab then it could be mn dot equals march is equal to true Then number of days are thirty one. Else, if MN dot equals if April.
then dd is equal to 30 else if mn dot equals may is equal to true then dd is equal to 31 so simple this way i'm again going to copy this So March, May, and this is June. It is 30, July, it is 31, August, it is 31. Then else if else if September be thirty October it should be thirty one. November thirty and the last one is else if MN dot equals a December if this is true then dd is equal to 31 and if none of the conditions is satisfied then i'll say flag uh, this is flag is invalid so invalid should be valid is equal to true so by this line this condition is completed now if not valid it's not invalid then system dot out dot print challenge month is plus mn and system dot out dot print ln number of days are dd and since there are two statements then it should be within the brackets. Okay. 
and uh, system dot out dot println okay, so dt should have been initialized before using this so i am giving this zero and this time i think this entire program is okay compile so there is no error so this time i have to run it if else if ladder now void main so it is asking for the month name so, so to check whether it takes fav of 29 or 28 so i am giving fav here and in case of fav we'll have to mention the year and so here the month is fab and number of days are 28 so fab of 1900 had 28 days in the month of fab again run it if we give the invalid name of the month so this time i am giving invalid name let's see what happens so uh it is giving and it should be the error message i think if and else system dot out dot print ln the invalid month name now it's okay and now if you run it will definitely give an appropriate masses right click void main give fab here give 1900 here it will show this and when you run this again with wrong name wrong month name says are will show you the invalid month names are okay so this way we have applied if else if letter here okay so if you understood the program kindly share it with your friends and if you have any doubt kindly uh, mention in the comment box and if you have not subscribed my channel yet kindly subscribe it so that you get the notification of new video as and when upload it and also press the bell icon so that you get the uh, notification of video as and when it is uploaded so we meet in the next video till then bye bye